All right, my friends, it's time for another fantastic Revit tip. <laughs> I only, I hope they're fantastic. Anyway, I hope they help you guys. Um, here we go. Today's Revit tip is dealing with demo when you have a linked file. The demo is happening in the linked file, okay? So let's just talk for just a sec. If you guys are working on an extensive um, renovation of a project, a large building, and you're blowing out many walls, and you're pulling out cabinetry and doors and windows, you've got a there's a lot of items to deal with. Okay, you should build yourself an existing model and actually do the work right inside that same model for the renovation because it's exhaustive and extensive you're going to be turning doors on and door i mean telling doors and partial pieces of walls to be um, demoed and certain cabinets to be demoed and it's it's really um it, it's it's a hands-on and you're it's really complicated and you need to have the objects right there in the model for this to work best. What I'm talking about today is not that, <laughs> not that. This happens all the time though, what we are gonna talk about today. When you are butting up to an existing building and you gotta blow a hole in it and extend an addition or an extension of an existing building, you're not planning on doing extensive modeling or changes in that building, you're just right up to it and connecting to it for an addition. And it's much more simplified of demo, but some firms are having issues with how do you deal with demolition in a linked model because it is directly adjacent to us and I need to cut a hole in the existing and take out a few windows and patch them, but I'm not doing a ton of work in that existing building. It's mostly the connection and I have to deal with demo at the connection point. All right, that's enough me babbling. Let me just show you how it works. All right, let me share my screen with you and you're so happy to be See my screen right now. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, here we go. This is a project um, called the Addition. I just say named this the Addition, and it is empty. I'm going to hit my plan view, and would you look at that? There is nothing in here. Okay. So what I did before I clicked record on this Revit tip is. I opened a second session of Revit. Now, when you're dealing with stuff like this, you don't wanna open Revit once and then have two projects open in one session of Revit. Because you guys know as well as I do, as soon as you link one into the other, it, it, sh it, it won't allow it, it, sh uh, it shuts one of them off. And so, you know this, you've seen it. As soon as you go to, you got two, you're trying to link this one into this one, and this one has to be closed in order for this one to link in. It doesn't like them both to be open in the same session of Revit. So the way to get around it, <laughs> bing, open two sessions of Revit. And you have one project here and one project here. And you can work in either one you want and load them into each other without complication. So there's, there's a quick tip right there. So what I did was I opened a second session of Revit, not the same, uh, not two in one. Okay, so let me just pop over to that other session of Revit. Bing, here I am. And this, I just threw this down. I just went clickety, clickety, click and threw in some walls and some doors and some windows just to give us something to work with, okay? This is existing construction. So I made sure that every single object, everything is on the existing phase. You gotta phase things correct 
in your existing model, okay? And you just make them all existing. So the easiest way to do that is create a view, like set your floor plan view that you're working in, that you're gonna build in, set the phase to existing so that every object you place automatically goes into the existing phase. So if you didn't know that, whatever phase your view is set to, all new objects go into that phase automatically. So when you're doing a, a, an existing piece of construction, make sure to check it first to make sure your objects are, uh, make sure the phase is set properly to existing for that view. So everything you add goes in there. Just say it, okay? So let's keep it simple. I've just tossed in these few things. Let's go back to the other session of Revit and there's nothing in here. So what I'm gonna do is link that in. I'm gonna say file, not file. I'm gonna go up here to insert link Revit and I'm gonna link my existing building in origin to origin because I want things to stay in context. And if they ever get deleted or moved, I can link it back in and it will be in context. You don't wanna just link it in and then move it somewhere. You should link it in and pin it in place. So tip number three. Okay, so look at this, it just came in. And this link, I can't even pick links because I've got the checkbox set to don't even pick links, but I'm gonna uncheck that. I'm gonna pick it and I'm gonna hit pin, 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 pin. Pin your link in place, okay? Now, here I am wanting to work on this. And so I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna keep it simple today. And I'm just gonna add an addition to this and we have to demo a little bit. This is not extensive. I think I've already, I've kicked that dead horse already. So here we go. I want to have, I wanna make this, this room right here larger. That's my addition that I'm adding on to this building. And then we have to blow out some walls to make that happen. So here we go. Let me just hit WA for wall and let's see what we want. Mm -hmm. Let's get a wood, let's just match the existing construction. Um, let's see, exterior wall, wood, six inch stud of wood, okay? So I'm gonna go from here, mm -hmm. I, I don't even care. Just look at this, I'm just gonna keep it simple, okay? And I'm going to build here, there, whatever. Let's just say, that's my addition. That's what I want to do, okay? And I plan on putting a door on here. Um, don't need a double. Yeah, sure. Double door, whatever. There's a door. Hey. Now let's get a, um, a double door that has a hollow metal frame on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait a minute. D-O-U. Double door with a hollow metal frame and whatever. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I know I say whatever, but then I do something specific. <laughs> Sometimes I can't make up my mind. Okay, this is our addition. So if you look at this, you're like, wait a minute. We need to cut out these walls here, but I can't just click on them and delete them or set them to demo because they're linked. So I need to take a look at what I'm dealing with. What I want to do is I want to cut this guy off straight. I want to leave this wall all the way there, the full existing wall and then cut this one out all the way over to here. And I need to take out these door, this door and these three windows and cut this off flush, okay? So that's what I need to do. So you, you kind of look at what has to go. So then you switch over to your other session of Revit. And I am going to go to a demo view in here. I'm just saying the demo view is simply a phased at new construction, and it's showing the previous phase, which is existing, plus demo, okay? So that's how you make a demolition view. So here I go. I know this wall needs to be demoed. There's two ways you can go about this. You can click on an object and you can come down to the phasing and you say, okay, I know you're existing, but I'm gonna change your phase to demo to demolition in the new construction. And it does, it, it demos it. It also demoed the window that's in it because it can't just float. You knew that. Okay, 
There's another way to demo objects here. And this is tip number four within one single rivet tip. Okay, instead of clicking on an object and then switching its phasing of when it's gonna be demolished, there's a tool right up here under geometry. It's a hammer. Have you ever seen that little hammer? That little hammer will demolish things in the phase that the view is set to. So if I look at my view, I this view is set to new construction. So if I use this little hammer on an object, it will set its demolition phase to the phase I'm in, the view. So all I gotta do is walk around with this little hammer and crush on things. Ah, watch, crush that window, kink. Look at that, demoed. I'm gonna crush that one, kink, gone. And this door, see ya, and this wall, bam, okay. I know this, it's, it's very simple and I'm easily amused as you probably already know, but I'm telling you, it's so easy to use this little hammer. You just go tink, 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 okay? So these are the walls I want to get rid of and the objects that I wanna get rid of. All I have to do is hit save now, okay? And it has cut it off at the right place where I want it, everything's good. So now switch over to the other um, session of Revit that I have. And then I need to reload the link. So I just come down to my Revit links, pick on the building, the existing building link. I can right click on it and just say reload. And what it does, it updates it. And this is my planned view. So those walls are about to disappear. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait. wait. Ah, there we go. Bam. What? I missed it. I, I was looking away and it's and it's gone. Okay, so look at this. If I go to my existing view, sure enough, there's my little building. If I go to my demo view in this project, it shows me the demo correctly that's coming in from the other project, okay? It shows it exactly as I need it to show, but I still, I can't pick these things. I cannot click on them because I have my view set to, don't even pick the link. And then if I go to my um, my plan view, it's gone. So I'm happy, I'm really happy. La la la, I'm very happy. So what if I wanted to now go a little bit further, a little bit more specific, okay? What if I wanted to put a, um, a window or a door going out the back? So let's just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a double door going out the back. Big old doors heading out the back, la la la, look at that. Now. There's a problem here. The door attached itself to my existing, I mean, my new wall that I was working on because you can't attach it to a link. But we've got an issue here. This door is, I have existing construction going right into the door. So I'm gonna have to do more, extense, more extensive demo in this area. So let's find out where this has to be. I'm gonna hit my dimension tool. I'm gonna find out exactly where Look at that, four, that wall, that door is four foot four over to that piece right there, okay? In, and if I go to my, um, I, well, I, that's where I need to cut it. I need to cut it off. So I just had to dimension it, four foot four, bam. So I'm gonna pop over now, <whistles> pop over to the other plan. There we go. Wait, that's the same one. Pop over to this. Now, how do I know where four foot four is? What I, what I like to do is I put in a dimension line. I mean, a detail line, okay? And la 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 la, I can put in a line right there. And that's a, that's a monster line, but I don't care how big it is. So you can pick it, change it if you want to, to some hidden line, I don't care. Okay, there we go, hidden line. So whatever, all right, it's a line, all right? So anyways, I'm gonna put a dimension to it and it's some whack number, but if I pick it and I reset it to four, four, that right there is where that needs to cut. Are you guys with me? So look at this. You come up to modify and you click split element and you can split this element wherever you want, doesn't matter. But I split that wall into two pieces. Now I'm gonna take this piece, I'm gonna drag the end of it right there to the 4-4 four, four line, and I'm gonna hammer that thing. I'm gonna hit the hammer on, put the hammer down on that little guy, okay? 
so that that piece is demoed from 4.4 on. But then I just need to pull this other piece over into place. So it's existing up to 4.4, and that's where it breaks. So save. This is how you do it, guys. When you have some demo to do on an existing building that is a separate link model, this is the process. You check your measurement in the in your new plan. So I'm going to pop over there. Where was I? Pop over to the other. This is the plan. You check your dimension of where you want objects so that you know the distance. And then you go into the other one, the existing building, the link, and break it right there and set the correct objects to be um, demoed with the little hammer. And then wait for it. I'm going to update the link. Watch it. Wait for it. Here we go. I'm going to come here to reload the link. And then I'm going to work on a Sudoku puzzle or maybe a crossword or something while I'm waiting for this. Hey, there we go. I, I looked away again and it happened. Okay, so maybe I need to look away more often. Take a look. Do you guys see what's going on here? We've got existing, it says um, four foot four, and there's my new door in blah, blah, blah. Okay. Again, this is really, this is the best practice when you're dealing with an existing linked model that you have demo to do in the link. And again, if you are planning on doing lots and lots of demo work in that existing plan, you may want to, you don't have to, you could use this process, just have two models up and running and boom, 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 you just keep on rocking it. But if you've got extensive remodeling, I just suggest building the existing and doing your new work right smack inside that model. That's up to you guys to decide because this sure worked, didn't it? I'm, I'm telling you, this works. It just works. All right, man. Until we meet again, I'm going to stop sharing my screen, come back to you. You guys have a fantastic day, and I know some of you are working on demo projects, and this hopefully helps some of you that are dealing with that renovation projects. All right, until we meet again, happy reveting, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.